We're here at 825 Sydenham Boulevard. A little breezy out today as you can hear. It's like a quick spin around the neighborhood. Really nice. You can see you have a nice little mailbox right there as well. Nice two car garage uh, leading off to the side entrance in the backyard as well. Um, and yeah, we'll come take a look inside. So you have uh, plenty of opportunities in terms of planting some flowers out front, having a nice little seating area or uh, obviously a nice fake well there, but I think it adds uh, uh, all to the home. So when you come in here, uh, they have some really, really nice features, just a lot of character to this home. So even right when you walk in from the crown molding to uh, the little door knocker there, and really all throughout the house you'll see these custom finishes. Um, which really you just don't get to see anymore in houses like this. So really special there. And then this is obviously just kind of like an office or study room. Uh, when you first walk in, we'll take a quick peek into the main living area. Really, really huge living area. I mean, I love the openness of this. Obviously you have nice fireplace. You have not just one, but two entrances out into the backyard area and all give you another perspective just so you can see uh, how open this is. So obviously you can have some bar stools right there, uh, allow you guys to interact with the chef and uh, depending on where your TV's at, if uh, your family who watches TV, you can really keep an eye on the game or, or anything uh, while anybody's cooking in there. So definitely a nice feature. And then obviously this is more the formal dining area. So uh, the Thanksgiving area or if you're into uh, having dinner with family uh, every day is certainly a nice thing. Uh, up there, again, you can see the crown molding. Then you can see nice finish up here. This is actually a lot harder to do, guys, uh, than it looks. So that's actually a really uh, impressive thing there. Again, I love the island right here. I always love an island in any house. I think that's a really cool feature. And then you have kind of the informal dining area. And then coming over here, obviously, so nobody has to walk all the way upstairs. You do have a half bath right here. And then a little window looking out into the backyard area. Over here, the washer and dryer um, will stay with the property. You have some cabinets up top, a nice little hanger actually. So if you're folding your clothes or uh, you're doing any ironing in here, you can certainly hang it up right above. So cool little feature. I thought that was pretty clever. And then you do have a door to, to close that off if you wanted to as well. Uh, coming in here into the garage, just a really deep garage. Uh, as you can see, you kind of hear it echo. Uh, but you have some shelving. You can see where it ends, where like your actual car would traditionally stop. Uh, and then you can see just how much further it actually goes. So really cool there. Obviously that's uh, access uh, to below the house. Um, clever put a first aid kit there. And then that's obviously a side entrance, uh, or excuse me, or exit I should say, uh, to the backyard area or the side yard. Uh, I want to take a look outside and then we'll head upstairs where uh, all the bedrooms are. Uh, but I absolutely fell in love with this backyard area. I wanted you guys to hear that, so hopefully y'all could. Uh, that's the alarm system that's set up so it lets you know which door uh, is actually open. So I thought that was, uh, again, another really cool feature. I like that they infuse kind of some character to the home with some contemporary feel uh, and obviously some modern technology as well. So uh, coming out here though, this is absolutely incredible. So obviously you have a ceiling fan. You do have an AC unit over there to um, you know, help keep things cool in the summer months, which is exactly what we're into now. Just for documentation purposes, this video is shot on May 26th, 2017. So you do have some shelving built in already if you guys want to put some flowers or uh, really whatever floats your boat there. Maybe even you want to plant some things uh, to grow some spices or uh, whatever makes you guys happy. So you actually have a grill, you have a sink to wash everything with. So I mean they thought of everything and you can see they kind of created this little custom uh, area so you can get some shade while you're cooking because uh, obviously everybody knows it gets quite warm uh, out here in the Hampton Roads area. Um, so huge deck though. Uh, you do have a little seating area over there. You also have some uh, additional storage with your shed. Um, there's debate as to whether or not that's staying. So for the moment, we will uh, include this in here, but there's a possibility that it actually might be uh, taken down. So uh, don't hold anybody to that. You have some, uh, we already got the fireplace started for you guys. If you wanna get a fire going, 
when you have your move-in gathering. But as you can see, just absolutely stunning. So again, a beautiful day outside. Really, really cool. Obviously, they've planted a little bit of flowers over here on the edge. Uh, so as you're walking in, it adds a little color there as well. And they put these hooks, if you guys can see this, uh, on the end there of the grill. So you can put all your uh, cooking utensils on the side. Again, I thought that was super clever. And then you do have, again, the entrance from here and the outlets right there as well. We'll take a, a look upstairs now. Quick peek. There you go. You do have a pantry right there in case anyone didn't see that. So this is uh, the frog for anyone who's not familiar with that term. That's finished room over the garage. So you do have additional storage right here to the right. I love that little platform though where people can kind of a built-in seat. Really that's just a, a design there. So I think that's pretty cool. Love this ceiling. So I'll let you guys take a peek up here. Pretty neat. Absolutely incredible. So really high ceiling. This I think was previously used as a game room, but obviously this could serve any purpose here. You do have a, an additional closet right here. As we head upstairs, we're gonna first swing to the right and then we'll make our way back down the hallway to the master bedroom at the end. So as you see here, you do have Pretty cool features in here as well. And then coming into our second bedroom, we have right here. And just over here, we have our bathroom, full bathroom. And coming into the master bedroom right here, you can see just how big this is. Really big space here really really big and then this is really cool so actually every closet i wanted to show you guys this for each one um but i didn't want this to run too too long so uh each one kind of has custom cabinets in them and then you have this uh really nice window here so it's actually extremely rare and then up here leads to attic space so plenty of additional storage if anyone needs it so really cool feature but all the closets have that custom cabinetry and then or shelving, excuse me. And you can see just in here too. So it matches the baseboard and crown molding there. Pretty neat. That'll about wrap it up though for 825 Sydenham Boulevard in Chesapeake. Come fill out an application now.